Right, we're filming for our vlog. <laughs> we're kind of a big deal. You're welcome for coming here. You're gonna be a star. Hello, thank you very much. Shit! They didn't give us our burgers. Organic burgers, that is. Got the burger. <laughs> so we got our food. Now we're ready to chow down. Chow chow! Oh. Hello, I'm eating my organic Wendy's burger from DQ. <laughs> idea <laughs> I answered coldly he knows I've been meaning to do the laundry maybe maybe he'll think I fell in in the washer <laughs> he scowled at me and and I scowled back his anger was much more impressive than mine Oof. this is too much for me I noticed your family was locking some significant household items <laughs> Pizza rat, pizza rat. Nancy, I like know it from like a song. Oh. Like a history song. Oh. <coughs> it's the only part that I remember. Ah, I was waiting for like. I, I don't know the whole song. Paige has a koala. Oh, a I like that. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah. Duh. Duh. Is this a time lapse? I need a baby. There is something I gotta say. That hurt. There we go, dearie. Fresh, you know, that's all you have to worry about. You put it in the blender, and then you blend it up with a bunch of good things, and then you good as hell. Now, we're down to move inward now with me chair, because I'm an infant and I need my chair, because I can't sit down without it. at our final destination in Antarctica for our journey. As you can tell, we are on the tundra right now. Um, and I'm just relaxing, you know? Why you gotta be in Providence tonight? Oh, Providence tonight. I can't think of anything. Why you gotta be away? Dump it to crump it. What better place to relax than the Grinch's lair? I bought her flowers I spent my last few dimes Well, after a day of relaxing Actually, a whole relaxing A whole weekend, weekend of relaxing of Doing absolutely nothing Just relaxing Just relaxing Because that's all we do is all relax All we do is relax It was really fun, you know um, We relaxed a little We went to a bagel place And then we came back and relaxed And then we went to the bagel place again And then we relaxed some yeah. more oh, While well, we ate bagels And we also ate pizza We did, really we ate two pizzas Really, some While we relaxed pizza. It was really relaxing Really though. relaxing pizza. It wasn't much else I mean, It could really just a genuinely good weekend of Relaxing Relaxing Yeah so we're out here just relaxing on the beach and we stumbled upon this floating carton, <laughs> the mystery carton, and we want to push it out to sea. Dana, are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm just out here relaxing in the beautiful Arctic on my vessel. 
Vessel of relaxation. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Vessel of relaxation. <laughs> you know, it's quite fascinating. Cape Cod was established in 1492 by... The, pil the pilgrims. The pilgrims. They did yes, come here. The pilgrims um, came. But the uh, Native Americans first uh, showed them this With the area. corn and right. the squash. So, interestingly, they ate a lot of cod, uh, and this being a cape... Mm -hmm. uh, they named it Cape Cod, which is rather oh, unusual. Oh, from all the cod that they were eating. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I get it's it. really it kind of cool. So I would definitely recommend fish oil and um, cod. That's just a little history, though, you know? Cool little lesson. Just casual conversation. Casual conversation on history Conversation of Cape Street. Cod. History of Cape Cod. We'll see you soon. So we've just met Marge here on our relaxing Hi, beast advent Hello. beach adventure. And uh, her and dog, Lulu. Lulu. So how old is Lulu? Lulu is three years old. Three years oh. old. She's beautiful. She's Look at her go. She's a beach girl. She She's, likes the beach. She loves the beach. Do you live here on Cape Cod or do you come? We live in here. Run. <laughs> come on, Dana, go. I'm running. Unlock it. Unlock it. <laughs> go, 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 go. Let's get the hell out of here. So briefly after our interview with Marge, we got in a bit of an altercation and she pushed me down and bit me. Marge, it really hurts a lot. We're getting the hell out of this place. I'm done relaxing in Cape Cod. Go, go, go. She's coming. Yep. Ah. Shit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> She's right behind us! Go, go! Go! And you need a laugh sound Right around summer time Yep Oh, now she's in private hell She ain't coming home, no, no So I'll just sit here with my banjo on the floor home to Stonehenge and after a long weekend of relaxing it's really nice to come home and unwind in this beautiful landscape. Henge for life. Yeah I love the henge. Henge yeah. Love being at the henge. Henge yeah. I just love being at the henge. It really feels like home. You know when I stepped foot on this campus I knew this was home. When I see that congregation of Holy Cross Cemetery established in 1950 I just feel at peace. It's really interesting, actually, a fun little factoid. How, how Stonehill joined the congregation in 1948, but the cemetery was made in 1950. So this means it took two years for a member of the congregation to die. Back to the cloud. <laughs> for some food here, but while we're here, we should talk a little bit, a bit about our vehicle of choice we drove down here today. So today we took the Cloud, which is Dana's mom's Subaru Outback. It's equipped with a 2.5 liter, four cylinder, flat six, so that's a boxer motor it has, which is a good motor. They're notoriously good. However, they are also known for sucking head gaskets. Now, both Dana and I have a Subaru Outback. They're both um, bought in 2015, however, it's a 2016 model year. Um, the problem with these cars is that, um, is the defroster, which tends to really, really fog up a lot, no matter what you try to do. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. It just fogs up. And now people have found that if they turn the climate control, Subaru is a, a well-known brand, uh, especially in the Northeast, and they're, they're really known for their safety, um, especially um, 
these cars, the new Outbacks, uh, they have uh, eight airbags, which is incredible. Um, but the, the only problem is that their stopping distance, according to car and driver, is 80 feet longer than a 2008 Ford Expedition, which is nearly 2,000 pounds heavier. Now, so obviously you're going to be needing those airbags because you're not going to be able to stop for the car in front of you. And you won't see the car in front of you anyways because it's fogged up. No one really knows. I think there's six, six or eight. I don't know. But the problem is, I mean, the car is so, so slow, you won't even be able to get up to speed. But in the chance that you do get up to speed in the slow Baru, you'll have a hell of a time stopping because the Ford Expedition in front of you will have stopped before and then you'll rear end them. But the airbags will come in handy, but you don't have to worry because you won't see them because you're so fogged up. Subaru needs to do a much better job with this, and they really need to work on their speed. They have a continuously variable transmission, which is interesting. The CVT for short, has mixed reviews. In the Nissan Rogue, it was known as a complete failure. Um, the marketing majors will tell you, the marketing majors will tell you that Subaru is the safest vehicle. You tell me. Subaru likes to think they're safe, though, with their horrible stopping distance, which we learned in Boston with the near-death experience, emergency stopping for a Honda CRV, which was quite terrifying. Now, going back to the CVT, it is interesting how this continuously variable transmission works. It doesn't have gears. It's just this completely automatic thing. So it's continuously searching for the lowest RPM, which is great because it gets you the optimum gas mileage. But it's pathetically slow. I mean, it's literally nothing. I need you love it. I need you love it. Well, it would appear our journeys have come to an end. We'll see you later. Remember, follow us at Patrick and Dana, um, the bloggers, whatever. <laughs>